Hi folks, welcome to the East Coast Keto Kitchen. I'm Jeff, I almost said I'm Bobby. I'm Jeff. <laughs> and I'm Jeff, I mean Bobby. <laughs> and together, we are East Coast East Keto. Keto. You're yeah. not used to taking the lead. Right? No, we're not. <laughs> so welcome to our YouTube channel, everybody. Um, we are gonna talk today about- A Couple of different things. A couple of different things. We're gonna talk about food prep and uh, getting some basic protein ready for the week. And we're also going to share one of our favorite kitchen gadgets. Gadgets. Go, go, gadget. Go, go, gadget. So what do you got today, young feller? Chicken. Chicken. <laughs> we, we like chicken. And the nice thing about chicken is it can go with anything. Totally. Yeah. And what we usually do with it on the weekend is we'll just usually cook it up with just a little bit of salt and pepper, so, maybe a little bit of garlic powder. Yeah. So that's kind of a, for us, so, a, Mm -hmm. A powder that, uh, or a, a general spice that kind of carries over all the dishes, um, and then we'll take it and we'll put it in our our uh, our little cooking machine, which I'll show you in a second. And then we have protein cooked for the whole week. I know yeah. myself personally; I work from home, and as much as I love eggs Salt. and bacon, there's mornings bacon. when I go <laughs> and I open the fridge and it's like I don't want to have eggs again. So it's nice to have something like this on hand, you know, some just some some uh, grilled chicken strips, and you can you can do whatever with you, them. You, you can, can either throw it on the grill or in a frying pan. Exactly, yeah. or you know, you can put a little bit of bit of greens with it, and a little bit of uh, homemade salad dressing, and you can do a chicken Caesar. There's so many different yeah. things. I mean, you're basically gonna have the chicken ready to go. Totally. All you gotta do is flash it in a pan or on the grill. Well, say for example, if we wanted to do salsa chicken, all we gotta do is just put the, the cheese and the, the spices the, on the there. Spices. Chicken is already cooked and ready to go. So while Jeff is putting on his salt and pepper and garlic, I'm gonna show you this guy. This is, um, I know it's kind of phallic, but get over that. Um, this is a Anova sous vide machine. Um, now, years ago, these were only found in restaurants. I mean, you go and mostly just high-end restaurants. Exactly, you go to a high-end restaurant, that perfect steak comes out, and you're like, my God, how do that reach? How do they reach that, that perfect temperature? I've I've always kind of um, compared it to like remember the old boiling bags that we used to get years ago, mm -hmm. where we used to boil meat. Now, obviously, it's much more advanced than that. Um, and what you do is it comes with a holder. And you take the holder and you clip it right onto the front of your pot like so. And then we will take Mr. Sous vide machine. Let me see if I can turn on this properly here now. And then we drop it right down into that. And from there, uh, this has all got digital controls yeah. for it's all temperature we'll set. Yeah. And you put it on, uh, you take this. your protein, you put them in. Now we, we use our sealer. Yeah. But you can't just use a bag. You can just use a regular bag. But if, uh, if the you, key is to get all the air out. You need to get the air out because if you don't get the air out, what's going to happen is it's just going to float up to the top. It needs to stay underneath the water yep. at all times. So if you look inside, I know you guys can't see it, but there's actually a little circulator in here that keeps the water circulating yep. as it goes. Um, I know a lot of the Brits re refer to this as a water bath. Water bath. Um, so um, we are going to, why don't we get a couple of those? Are they all rubbed in and ready to go there, Skipper? Good enough, anyway. Good well, enough. Let's just kind of right. roll, roll it around. So we're gonna it. we're gonna get one of these um, put through our, our doomahickey flicky there, and then we're gonna cut off because um, it is rather loud. So we don't think you guys want to sit there and listen to that machine yeah. roaring and ball in the whole the whole time. the whole video. But yeah, just got a bit of oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder. I'll, I'll hold. Perfect. There's the one. He tries to help me, <laughs> don't you? So what's the science behind this in regard to like cooking a steak? It's, like, it's precision cooking. Okay. So say for example, if you like the perfect medium rare steak. Medium rare is what, around 135, somewhere around there, I believe. I'm a bit out of practice, so. Um, a bit lower. At 125. 125. Okay, so what you do is you would set your temperature at that exact temperature. And it maintains that within a tenth of a degree. And you can see it's always cutting in and cutting out, and, and it's connected to your cell phone. There's an app yeah. for that. 
and what happens is it will cook whatever you put in there whether it's steak like you can do you can do uh, like cheesecake and all kinds of stuff in in this thing if you prepare it properly eggs eggs yeah but the cool thing with a steak okay you're cooking a steak at home and you're struggling to try to get it that perfect temperature what happens is you put it through this machine it brings it to the perfect temperature so it's already cooked now when you look at the steak it doesn't look cooked right it looks it looks raw um, but, but it, it is it's perfectly cooked af it's after an hour two hours the, basically the longer you leave it in there it, it starts to the, the heat at that temperature that you have it set at it starts to break the protein down so, so the more the more tender it becomes so yeah you take a, a ribeye steak a couple of hours in that at say 135 yep. Take it out, flash it on a, on a scorching hot grill. Yeah. You cut it with fork. Exactly, and and that's all you have to do. You literally you have a really hot grill. You put it on. Tss, tss, that's it, just to make the grill marks because it's already cooked, and that's it. You're gonna totally impress your friends. Now the one trick that we have found with it is if you have a couple of different people coming and you want um, you want steaks cook, cooked at a different temperature. What to do for your people who don't know what a steak tastes like and they likes it well done. <laughs> You're, you're going to put theirs in first and let it cook to the desired temperature. And then you're going to drop the temperature back. And then back. you're going to drop the temperature back to the next level. And for the people who like who like a medium steak, then you're going to put it in at whatever the, mm -hmm. the desired temperature is there. And the one that's already well done is just kind of idling by and, and it's, it's not, well, it's it's breaking down a little yeah. kind of bit more, but it's not doing any harm to It'll the meat kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and Some yeah, food. you know, uh, half tender, well, well done steak. Go <laughs> figure. Alrighty, so why don't you suck the yeah. air out of that one there? And there we go. So yeah, so it's already it's already um, taken out the air. It's vacuumed it all out. Now it is sealing. We're just waiting for the two lights to go on. Or off, should I say? The other on. The other on. There you go. And yeah. So, perfectly sealed. Which, if you don't have one of these and you buy protein in bulk, get one. I mean, it. They're fairly if you, if inexpensive. You're freezing, they're fairly inexpensive. Yeah. They're what around fifty bucks somewhere yeah. around there. And this thing here, I know we paid a couple hundred dollars for, but I think you can get them now for <laughs> like seven, 100. seventy-five yeah. hundred bucks. So. You know, if, if you like kitchen gadgets, these are two of our That's favorites. One. Yeah, there's, I mean, you can get them at Home Hardware. There's lots of different brands. You can buy them in stores. In stores. Or online. Or online. <laughs> what you just said. All right, so let's get the rest of these bagged up and we'll come get back. some water we'll in We'll come them. back when we're ready to put the chicken in and we'll let you see what we're doing. All right. We got our water ready to go. Basically, just put hot water in there. Uh, what we're working with today is a temperature of 145 and I turn it on and it'll show us right away what the current temperature of the water is. Okay, I'm going to come in close now so I can see that. And we're at 136. I got it already set for 145. Now so. how do you have it set? Let us see. I will open the app. So if you can put that app on the same place that... Find. Restoring the connection. There you go. So let me, I'm just going to touch on that now so I can see that close. If you just stay still, I'll come in a little bit. So as you can see, the two machines are communicating. Uh, they are syncing together. Jeff has input that he's doing chicken breast boneless. And have you put in a time as well? Timer? No, I have not. So let it go for two hours. Perfect. And start. All right. So there you go. So you can see the water is starting to circulate down below. And yeah, you can see. Be careful, I don't drop my phone. In <laughs> yeah, it's set at 140, or current temperature is. Oh, there you go. So it's ready to go. So that's basically telling you go ahead and put your food in. And hippity hop all the way to the birdie boiler. Now, one of the things that we don't have there that we ordinarily use is we usually have clothespins that we, we pin them on right to the edge of the, mm -hmm. the... Because the whole concept is that circulator that's down there and heater, um, that's keeping the, the water uh, moving in there. It is. 
And um, one of the other things that we did, maybe when you um, take up the next pack of chicken breasts, can you pass this over the other pack? Is you can see how even though there are, there's three in the same package, we have them separated so they have full contact with the uh, with the sous vide machine. So and what does what the sous vide mean, Mr. Pike? I'm gonna move under, back now so we can see you. Under vacuum. Under so, vacuum. So basically, the the food is in vacuum sealed inside a bag, and it's in water that's 145 degrees. It's you can literally put your hand in there. It's it's basically hot water Show coming me. out of the tap. Show me. I just did. There you go. It's hot. But it's, it's not. It's 150 degrees, so <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's warm. But well, what would an average uh, water heater be set at on the... Most on um, full-on hot is probably 150. Okay. So it's basically the same hot temperature that comes out of your... Yeah. You know, you don't want to put your, your hand in there and leave it in for a half an hour. No. But... Uh, even though chicken is safe at 165, chicken. chicken, what we're doing here is it's being brought up to a set temperature of 145 for a longer time. And then when you finish it in a frying pan or the grill, you're basically making it food safe. So, per perfect. Yeah. So would it just be just as simple to do it at 160 or would that then overcook it because then when It'll you... Overcook it. Okay. What, what ends up happening then is you get too much breakdown and it's, it's rubber. The, the one thing that I would recommend for people who are interested in the sous vide world is to do some research into it. Um, because yeah, just what you said just then, I mean, it's, it's not as simple as to put it in at the, at the temperature. You need to know how long to put it in for yeah. and um, then what's going to happen when you do the sear afterwards. So, um, in any case, this is a set it and forget it. Yeah. And I'm going to come in close one more time. It's, showing, it's set for 145, and it'll flash over now to the timer. Yeah, hour and 58 minutes left. Perfect. And that's just going to keep going so, yeah, until... Set it and forget it. Now, what, ha what has happened is, uh, worth mentioning, is the temperature was up to 145, and now it's gone down to 140, making its way back up again. Yeah. That's because we put the cold meat in there, yep. and the cold meat bought the temperature of the water down a little bit. Yep. It's almost like putting in a couple of cupfuls of cold water. <laughs> throwing, throwing some ice cubes in, in a pot of boiling water. Exactly. So that's going to very quickly get up to uh, speed again, up to temperature yep. again. And um, in two hours' time, we're going to have a whole bunch of chicken breast that's going to be good for the week. Yep. And uh, we'll, we'll take out a couple. We'll put them in the fridge. This can be kept... When you take it out, you can keep it in the fridge for up to five days or throw it in the freezer for even longer. Um, we'll take one of these and that's what we'll have tonight. I hear we're having a chicken Caesar. I hear we're having chicken Caesar with homemade Caesar dressing. There you go. Yummy. Yum. Anyway, we'll be back in a couple of hours. One hour and 57 minutes. And at that time, we will um, take those chicken out and show you what we got and thro chicken. throw them on the grill. Talk soon. Welcome back. Mr. Carter. Mr. Carter. <laughs> what was his name? Uh, Horshack. Yeah, what did he used to say? The sweatheart. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 Mr. Carter, <laughs> Mr. Carter. <laughs> All right, so I'm we got sorry, some chicken. We'll, I'm, I'm, so, I'm <laughs> sorry, we're going through that. I'll push this a little bit. This is our batch of dog food. <laughs> well, just, just show it. It's, if you're going to talk about it, you might as well show it. It's pup loaf. This is... What else we have so, on the yeah, pop it over here. There you go, and turn it on the side and a little bit so people can see what's in there. Okay, so our dogs are keto. Our as dogs well, are keto. So. We we home cooked for them. Uh, it's got um, ground beef, um, beef heart. Come here, boo. Um, what else is in there Come for here, protein? Uh, some turkey. Here. Come on, quality control. <laughs> quality control. Let's see. Our little cancer face. Oh yes, yeah. She likes it. <laughs> Puppy can poop. Um, Come here, sweetie. Protein be. is ground okay. beef, Come on, ground turkey, Come on. beef heart, um, chicken drumsticks. We've and some herbs and spices. Herbs too. and spices. Yeah, well, will remain a secret. Yes. Um, we've got some omega carrot, three, omega three fish, omega three fish, kale, kale, um, cabbage, celery, blends and tigers <laughs> and bears. Oh right. my. Yeah. Come on, I mean, sweet guy, if you want some. It, it really is good enough for people to eat. 
Th All right. There's days I come home and we'll you say, what do we want to have for supper? You won't eat pop off with me, but I want to eat it. Yeah, we'll have some Because it, it, it is. But I mean, it's, it, it's perfectly clean food. It's, All right. And that's real food. All How right. is our magic? Our magic is done. Okay. So let us take a... So we reset it. It was really, what, around uh, two and a half hours? Yeah. Okay. So here we have, now there's some liquid that has come out of the chicken, but if I slice the bag open. Oh, you're still going to burn your fingers. Let me get you no, some little... No, I'm, I'm going to drain this into the sink here now. Okay, I got some products coming for you anyway. Oh, we do that too. All right. All right. Oh, slippery. So we got one chicken. Yep. Okay. Mm. It's, it smells I, amazing. I smelled it, and you went. Mmm. It smells good. Yes, of course it does. Mm, so there they are. They got a bit of salt. There. They got a bit of pepper. They got a little bit of. Um, Needs for nothing. Garlic powder. Yep. And what we're and gonna do? Olive oil. Is we're gonna take them all out of the uh, the water bath, right. and from there well, we're gonna. The, the rest of these we're we're just gonna stick in the fridge for the rest of the week. Oh, on well grill. So we're gonna take them all. We're gonna go out on the grill. We're gonna throw them on and just give them that little for shizzle, and from there um, we'll. For shits and giggles. We'll do a taste test. <laughs> so we'll see you outside. All right. It's our first time going outside. It is. It is. It's a good thing it's not raining or snowing. Then we wouldn't be going outside. <laughs> See you on the other side. So our grill is pretty much hot here. Isn't it? As hot as it needs to be. And we got our full Costco pack of chicken breasts ready to go on the grill. Grill has already been oiled and is good to go. And hippity hop. Actually, I don't even need to clean these wings. They are clean. So make sure the grill is oiled because if not, these little fellas are going to stick right on there. And because the grill is so hot, all you have to do is literally just put them on they and give them a the sizzle. Flash. Because they, they are, well, they're just, with the chicken, they're just below temperature. And we're, st we're still good and hot. Gee, not. <laughs> dogs rustling around in the, in the cover. We got dogs and cats. <laughs> dogs and cats. Lions and tigers and bears. All right, oh my. let's see how they are doing. Lovely. So there up. is that perfect grill mark that you want. And yeah, it's just I mean, pushing. If, if you want to do some homemade keto-friendly barbecue sauce, which we have, our, we have a recipe on our website, yep. eastcoastketo.com. Oh, that. that's, that's some nice looking chicken. I bet it'll taste pretty good too. We hope so. <laughs> Better. All right, another minute on the other side. Give them a minute, minute and a half at most. And, and then we're going to check it, check the temperature just to be sure it's up to temperature. If you wish, it'll be. But we can check. So we're done, I'm pretty certain. Let's check the temperature. They look pretty amazing. One thirty-eight, one forty-six, one fifty-two, one fifty-five, one. So there we go. That is one sixty-six. Food safe chicken. And that's the fastest, the, the fastest, the <laughs> fattest one there. So they are ready to go. We have a clean plate over here waiting for you there, Chef Jeff. Pretty hot. I'll always, when I'm doing something like this, I'll have a dirty side and a clean side. So this side over here is where we keep our clean utensils, and over on the other side would be any that would be at risk of, like, uncooked chicken or whatever. And there we got one amazing plate of chicken. Let's bring this back into the kitchen and 
slice her open and see how she tastes. Welcome back. We are We're back gone. and we got some chicken. We got chicken. Right. And you know what? One of the nice things I like having um, like the chicken around that it's already pre-cooked. You know you cooked it. You know what's in there. I have a little bit of our keto coleslaw here. And the recipe is on the uh, website. And I, I can take some of that chicken and mix it up in here and it's almost like a chicken salad or you can turn it into a, a Caesar. You can put um, some of the, the chicken in a Caesar. You can, do, um, you can do some tacos with it and put some cheese and some tomatoes and put mm -hmm. it in the oven and a little bit of Mexican spice. There's so many things you can do with that. We mentioned uh, um, marinara, the mm -hmm. uh, salsa chicken earlier or, or like right. a chicken parm. Look at that. Hold it up so everyone can see it, my son. Hold it up. And yes, uh, I'm just going to try a piece. I got, I got hair going. That's because I was outside. Oh. Wind blow. So you, cut off a, so you cut off a piece for yourself and you didn't cut any out for me. I'll take the bigger piece. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Needs for nothing. Okay, so the nice thing about sous vide is that it was already cooked pretty much to temperature. Mm -hmm. You take it on the grill and you put it on a really hot heat. And what that does is it sears in the juices oh, the and juice. the flavor that's inside. So what you have is you almost have like a like a little little crust on the outside. A little almost like a sausage casing. Almost like a caramelization. But inside that is so juicy and tender. And as much as I love, I know I'm double dipping, but it's just you and I. Oh, post it was a chicken smell with you. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit on some of my coleslaw. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Deadly. It's goat meal. You talk to them, I'm gonna be right back. Where are you going? Talk to them. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna come in close and show you what? How juicy that is. I mean, it's a, literally. Mmm, I'm um, very good. Trust us. All right. You will not be disappointed. All right, I'm back. Oh, more taste testers. Okay, so yeah, we had our, our previous taste tester in earlier. Now this one here is a, a real, real finicky little pup. So if she doesn't want any, oh <laughs> my God, it's princess approved. It's princess diva. Why don't you reach your hand down and pick up number two? Not that one, though. Come here. There you go, the gang's all here. <laughs> she didn't like it. <laughs> so there you have it. Keto pup approved. Keto pup approved. Anyway, we now have enough chicken for the week, and we are going to, for tonight's purposes, I think we're going to go and do it with chicken Caesar. Chicken we're Caesar. going to do, we got some homemade uh, Caesar sauce waiting for us. Yep. And we're going to put the chicken on top, and these little girls already have their pup loaf over right. there, full pan full. Right. This is probably enough for a month, so. Exactly. So, um, yeah. We got our... Uh, <laughs> Our zoo. We got our prep done for the week, and yeah, we got another one down below who wants a, a taste test, taste so we'll chicken. we'll grab her and give her a little taste too. Anyway, happy cooking. There you have it, sous vide chicken, tried with steak too, is wicked. Bye. See ya.